got to be a better way. Hang on a minute. I think maybe there is. What is it? It is actually a vacuum pump. There is no moving parts, and thanks to Bernoulli, um, I think we can explain how it actually works. So you can see here, um, there's some specs on it. Um, tells you it requires uh, 4.2 uh, cubic feet per minute at 90 psi. So we align on it. Um, it works with either, it's for air conditioning, pull on the vacuum in an air conditioning system, but of course you can use it for a vacuum for anything else. Sometimes vacuum pumps are uh, expensive, and uh, if you already have a pressure source, um, you can turn it into a vacuum. And uh, I'll explain how that, just briefly, uh, momentarily. So you can use it with, uh, as the label says, uh, with uh, R134A, the typical commonplace uh, modern refrigerant, or uh, yesterday's uh, refrigerant, or uh, some commercial and residential refrigerants, I guess. It's just about the fittings on here, basically, boys, right? So I'll actually just, I was looking for my vacuum gauge. That I've had forever in a day, but I can't seem to find it. So we'll just use the gauge on a, a pump here. That'll suffice. So let me get you hooked up. I'm just gonna put this line on here, just so we can. And we're back. Okay, so just fitted that on there quickly. So I'm just gonna open up the, uh, the pressure regulator on my compressor here. Let's put the 90 PSI. I'm not going to make it in any actually because the pressure is dropping and I don't want to turn on the compressor. You can see there boys, it's easily pulling, uh, you can see it's dropping of course because the pressure is dropping in the tank. But you can hear that the air is actually venting out of there. So, pulling a good be back here, right? So let me just, let me just turn that off. So if you've got a pretty sizable compressor, compressor that can keep up with that kind of demand, you could have easily 15, 20 uh, inches of mercury uh, all day long, right? So how does it work? Um, most of you guys will probably already know what a Venturi is actually all about. If you have a pipe, you can't really see that. Let me get a marker. Okay, boys, so here's my super crude little model of a uh, little drawing of a Venturi. So here's where the air line actually comes in. So that would be this line here. So the air is actually coming in at high pressure. And uh, of course the flow comes this way. And you can see uh, inside of Venturi, the, the whole magic of a Venturi is the restriction actually right here. So as you can imagine, as the air rushes in here, you may actually think that the uh, static pressure in this location right here, because the air tends to ram through this section here, you might think, and it's a common misconception, it's easily misconstrued, that the pressure would be higher in this section. In fact, it is not. The pressure in this section in the Venturi is actually considerably lower. So what you're trading off here is speed for pressure. Here, the air speed is quite low, but as it comes to the restriction, the speed begins to, uh, to pick up. So we have a high speed section through the, through the neck of the uh, Venturi here. And with a higher speed comes lower pressure, and as it comes through the uh, comes out of the neck, the uh, the pressure the uh, speed slows down and the pressure goes up. So you're constantly trading off pressure for speed, and they work basically inverse uh, to one another through a venturi. And of course, we just tap off our line fitting here if you want a vacuum to go somewhere right at the low section of the venturi. Now I've not opened this up. I couldn't say definitively, but. Um, I understand a wee bit about the physics behind a Venturi because um, an airplane wing basically works the same way, boys. Right, I'll leave it at that. That's it. Here's, uh, by the way, it's a Central Pneumatic. I have no idea if they're still in business or not. There's the model number, boys. Um, handy wee tool if you want to pull a vacuum on something. Of course, you need the facility to pressurize it with a, a pretty serious volume going through it if you want to maintain that, that vacuum.